Take it from the baby, wonder can you make it clap? Control me, better tap, tap, tap. I'm gripping on your hips, hit it from the back. Um, guys, come here. You wanna try some good vegan mac and cheese? Who doesn't love yes. and want vegan yes. baked macaroni mm. and mm. cheese? Wait, mm. you don't need that. It's so good. Mm. Let's go make this. <laughs> Mm. Hey guys, welcome back to your spicy vegans. It's Sherry and Derek. Let's make some food! So today, what are we, making, honey? we are going to be making my all-time favorite, my kids' all-time favorite. It is our vegan baked macaroni and cheese. What makes this one so special is because you know how macaroni and cheese is like oily from the cheese and mm. just salty and delicious? You mean, you mean the, the real stuff. The, the real stuff. cheese, yeah. yeah. So the way we get that flavor and that texture and consistency is to saute some sweet onion in some olive oil before we make our sauce and then we incorporate that into it. And look, the ingredients are, <laughs> ingredients are, so excited. It's are, not <laughs> right, are super easy. I have some cashews that I soaked for how a long, couple, how a long couple you soak them? at least two hours. At least two hours. I did these overnight because we were going to cook this last night, but then we forgot and we got tired. <laughs> and actually, Kira went into the microwave Our and daughter. she knew what I was preparing. And she was like, when's the macaroni and cheese coming? <laughs> okay, so we have soaked cashews. We have any kind of pasta. I just have this organic she whole wheat penne she pasta. She literally just pulled it out of the pantry. Was yeah. <laughs> and then for the sauce, we're going to begin it with the cashews. That's our base. And then we're gonna have yellow mustard, chili powder, cayenne, some paprika, nutritional yeast, which is a really great vegan trick to making things cheesy, black pepper, turmeric, salt, sweet onion, some garlic, and some fresh lemon juice. Mm. And a little bit of water back here. This is, this is not vodka. <laughs> What's the water for? It's not that time of the day yet. The water is actually, we're gonna loosen up, we're gonna loosen up the sauce a little bit. We're we'll talking about the cheese? Because okay, so yeah. Vegan cheeses are important, guys. We've tried so many vegan cheeses, and let me tell you, they're not all created equal. We like follow your heart for like sliced deli cheeses, but for melting cheeses in our mozzarella and cheddar that would go into lasagna or like baked Mexican food and whatever. Daya. Daya. Yeah, it's really Daya. great. It's made from coconuts and chickpeas. Their formula just really Pizza. melts the best. Pizza. Pizza, lasagna, Mexican casseroles. Yeah. Yeah. We'll you be know. showing you guys all that, but Daya. Vegan tuna melts. With that, let me tell you, it's a game changer. <laughs> Let's get to cooking, guys. <laughs> this is a Vidalia onion. It is a sweet onion. And this is my favorite onion to work with. Wow. But because it has a sweet, <laughs> honestly, because it has a sweet flavor and it just really adds a great sweetness to everything I make. Even if you're not making a sweet dish, mm. it just tastes so good with like the really flavorful spices. So we're gonna dice up this onion really small so that you don't get large chunks of onion in your macaroni and cheese. of onion is one cup and it's half of the onion so we're just going to use a cup of finely diced onion. So to our cup of tightly packed onions we're going to add one, two tablespoons of olive oil. Okay so while we are sauteing our tiny little pieces of this delicious Vidalia sweet onion, Pour our pasta into salted water and cook it al dente for whatever the box says. Do not go over al dente. How much salt did you add to your water? I added about um, a heaping teaspoon. The best way to peel garlic is to take their little booties off, their little <laughs> butts, their little and then you just take your flat knife, smash, and then they literally, they get undressed in a second. Done. Like, I feel like Beavis and Butthead. You said blood. You said blood. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to make the cheese sauce, which is going to be delicious. <laughs> All the ingredients are ready to go. They just have to be measured out. We just have to get our fresh lemon juice. Always remember to really roll your lemon around so that it releases the juices before you try to squeeze it. <laughs> That's what she said. You know what I was going to say. Oh my God. <laughs> I felt your dirty mind like in the back of 
my head. Okay, so we're just gonna put a couple um, teaspoons of lemon juice, or actually tablespoons of lemon juice in this little bowl here ready to go. So the soaked cashews are going in first. Next is our fresh squeezed lemon juice. How much? A couple tablespoons. It'll be listed below. And those are three cloves of garlic. A quarter cup of nutritional yeast, which is super high in protein and gives a cheesy flavor. One and a half teaspoons of fine salt. Half teaspoon of chili powder. A teaspoon of turmeric, which will give it a beautiful color. A pinch of cayenne. Half teaspoon of yellow mustard. Derek just had a full blown sneezing attack. <laughs> a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. <laughs> Three fourths cup of water, and you might need some more if it looks too thick. So we're gonna blend this for like a good two minutes and make sure everything gets incorporated. We're gonna check it and see if it's too thick. If it's too thick, we're gonna add some more water. So let's see. just a little bit more water to it. I'm gonna add like a quarter of a cup. All right, I think it's good. Let's take a look at the consistency. Yeah, I don't know if you guys saw it, but it was like chunky before. This is like super smooth. I got my cocktail, I'm ready to eat Let's already. have Derek taste it. <laughs> oh! Should have creamy. Mmm, mmm, but it's got, mm. I love, you know, I'm a savory guy. I'm not a sweet guy. Yeah. It's so savory. And you can taste the cayenne, I right? I can taste it. Okay, okay so now one? this super savory, this, so this super savory sauce is now going mm. into our mm. pasta with the sweet onions mm. and the olive oil. It make you want to smack your mama. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Drain off our pasta until I get to it. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Ouch. <laughs> We're gonna, we drained our pasta, we're just gonna have it hang out right here with a little bit of olive oil. So our pasta is done, so it doesn't stick. We're gonna put our olive oil and onions in it and mix it around. Now we're gonna incorporate this into our pasta. Look at that gorgeous, cheesy sauce. Completely vegan, completely dairy free, so flavorful, so cheesy. So delicious. Right now we're just going to incorporate our beautiful cheese sauce into the pasta. It is literally perfect. Let's go get a casserole dish. So you're going to grease your pan with some vegan butter and then you're going to add your pasta to it. So we're going to bake it but um, it's good to eat right now. Like you can literally eat this right now. And it's absolutely delicious, which it would be like macaroni and cheese on the stove top. We're gonna bake it. So we're gonna just sprinkle some vegan cheese by Daya, the best one for melting. And then we're gonna sprinkle with a little bit of paprika. Gives it that smoky, yummy taste. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm not gonna lie, I added more cheese. I used like a cup of cheese. <laughs> So we're putting it in the oven on 400 degrees and I'm going to check it in about 20 minutes. Okay, you guys, you know, when the food's in the oven, it's so you guys, while our mac and cheese is baking, I just want to talk to you for a second about presentation. You wouldn't normally think of putting parsley on macaroni and cheese, but presentation is everything. I don't know, there's just something special about putting some fresh herbs on your food to make it look beautiful. 20 minutes on 400. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh, it smells yeah, good. It looks good. Totally perfect. And this is some fresh parsley from our garden, just to give it a little beautiful color and a fresh flavor. Look at how gorgeous this looks. Yeah. Look at that. Mac and cheese, vegan style. Kara just dropped by. 
And she's like, give me that mac and cheese. It's one of her favorites, so we don't let her so, taste it before we eat it. Did I do it? You're going to feed it to me? This is so romantic. I'm going on a date. They might be jealous. Okay, take a bite. It's too hot. Are you okay? Did I do it? Is it good? Alright guys, my favorite part. Eating other than drinking. <laughs> this yeah. is so I gotta delicious. Put, gotta put a little hot sauce on it. And just feels like home. Feels like a warm, cozy bed. And just hits you right in all the feels. Mm. You guys, if you liked this recipe and you liked this video, please subscribe. Like it. Tell a friend. Hit that notification bell because we're gonna be uploading new videos too every single week, if not more. Yeah. It's so good. Oh my god. This is proof that you can have comfort food that's good for you. Mm. Come on now. So good. So creamy and flavorful. And give it a try, let us know what you think. And subscribe. Mm. Yep. Subscribe, like, and tell a friend. Mm -hmm. All right, guys? We see you next time for some great, great, great healthy vegan cooking that tastes good because we're spicy vegans and we love you. <laughs> Bye, guys. I'm going back to eating. Mm.